so much for joining us. It's time for us to take our book chat. Now, uh, I'm a huge fan of books in general, but when it comes to children's books, huge smiles on my face because they just feel like they're evergreen. And today, the book we're looking at is titled Happy, Healthy Smiles. It's written by Dr. Fumilayo. Adeni. Now she is an astute dentist and so much more and she has put together an amazing book. When it comes to uh, her experience in dental care and the healthcare industry, you can understand that. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And congratulations on the new book. Thank you. Healthy Happy Smiles yeah. uh, is a book that you wrote for the kids, not for the parents, right? Not for the parents, for the okay. kids. So, um, it does feel like parents have a major hand in making sure that children's yes. teeth are healthy. Yeah. So why not uh, write to the parents, why to the kids? Because children are intelligent. We don't give them as much credit as we should. And the truth is, once a child latches onto something, they would follow on for a long time, even more than parents. I remember as a child growing up, I came down with caries that's having holes. Oh, wow. And I went to, my mom took me to the dentist and I had a feeling done. And I remember everything my dentist taught me about brushing twice daily, about using a floss, about things I should do to prevent having another hole or having to get my tooth extracted. And the trepidation of, oh my God, I could have my tooth extracted, yeah. helped me to be very religious with it. And so I will okay. brush my teeth on my own yeah. before it was time to sleep. And so it just came naturally. Children can follow through mm. once they know why they should. At least we understand the reason why you went into <laughs> yes. this career path. <laughs> and it, it, it feels like a, it's been a happy one because you put together a book to that effect. Yeah. It's, not just, uh, it's not just a story book, no. it's an activity book. Yes. Uh, so what sort of activities can we find in it? So we have activities that tell you things to do, encourages you to do healthy um, oral hygiene practices, just helps you to incorporate it in your life. We also have some reward pages that reward you with stickers for doing the things mm -hmm. that you do. A sticker book. Yeah. Uh, my kids love sticker books. <laughs> every, I think every child, every child does, books. yeah. Um, but rewarding children um, with stickers and making them do the activities, do you think it's effective? What sort of uh, backing do you have to this effect? Um, children, children like that reward system. Every child loves the reward system. Do this and you get that. Do this and you get that. And when they know that their teeth will be healthier, they would be healthier in the long yeah. run. I think, and once your parents also back it up to say, oh yes, this is, every child will follow mm. through. Okay, so I have to ask now, because uh, it's very colorful, it's of an international quality. Thank um, you. I, I was a little bit worried um, when I saw it, because in the end we have a lot of uh, information in a lot of books today that lean towards Western culture. Mm. Uh, it does feel like, uh, is there anywhere down the line? Did you mention chewing stick? Did you mention anything <laughs> local? Did you mention local foods in the book? How do I know it's a Nigerian book? Oh, yes, I mentioned all local foods. So okay. anything you can readily get by your market seller okay. is mentioned in the book because your nutrition is highly, highly important in okay. your oral health. Mm -hmm. And then um, representation matters. So a lot of the animations have people that children can relate with. Okay. Growing up, every book I read that had to do with um, health had white people mm. and it just i always used to wonder like are there really dark colored people that are <laughs> writing books in the world and and so representation matters and we we tried to incorporate that but for chewing stick no because <laughs> we do not want to encourage children yeah. down that path because we don't have enough research to back up I am a big fan of everything African, but we need a lot of funding, research-based um, findings to establish because there has to be some form of scientific proof because you can get your chewing stick from a neem tree. I get mine from a bitter leaf tree. Okay. They supply different things once you use them in your mouth. And so okay. we, need to, we need to invest more in researching. Okay. Research on research. Research. Yes, But you, you do understand the reason it. why I went oh, in yes, that direction. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I was absolutely. going to touch on the animation in yes. the book as well. Did you get uh, your own illustrator animator yes, I did. for this? Yes, I did. How long did it take to put all those images together? Uh, it took about six months. Wow. I had to wait for her because I, she did my previous book and I okay. just like how she works. And so she was really busy. Um, she's for Lashade Adeshida. Okay. Yeah, Adeshida. 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 Nice. Yes. 
Okay, so look at those, that that particular page. Yeah. is really interesting. Uh, the shapes of the teeth. Yeah. Really interesting. So um, I, I'm not sure um, when you plan to put it into print. Okay, um, it's available on Amazon and okay. Seller presently, okay. and it will come into print before the end of the month because we're trying to do a pre-order to get in, have a feel of the acceptance before we sure. know how many copies sure. we're printing. But yes, it will be available. It always feels like there's a story behind why every author put together a book. Yes. Who did you write this book for? Um, I'm in private practice. I run a dental clinic and I've been in private practice for about 11, 12 years. And I see that um, trend of parents who didn't know better and are raising children who want to do better but don't have any information. And so I'm trying to fill that information gap to say, um, mommy might not have done it well, but you can do better. Because mm -hmm. once you know better, you do better, really. That's what it is. And then I want to create a culture of... Um, of children that are aware of oral hygiene, are aware of oral health and can start early. The WHO says that there are more than 3.5 billion people living with oral health diseases and these are preventable. They shouldn't be. Why should we be fighting with that much number? And so we can reduce that with education really and starting with the right practices early on. Okay, so um, I, I didn't get to the end of the book mm -hmm. when I was flipping through, mm -hmm. but do you touch on anything cosmetic? Uh, do you touch on braces? Oh, yes, we and do. And things we talk, like that? We touch on braces, on invisible braces, also known as aligners. Okay. We touch on mouth guards for sports. We oh. touch on really the whole gamut of things that can affect children. So we won't go into veneers okay. and um, things that have to do with adult cosmetics, but everything that has to do with a child, the full yes. range, we okay. cover that in the book. All right. Yeah. I have to say, well done and Thank congratulations. You. Thank on you a very much. Book. It looks even interesting enough for parents to read yes. and <laughs> enjoy. Mm -hmm. and I know you have another one as well, yeah. uh, Healthy, Happy, Whole. Oh, yes. uh, this is a really, really interesting looking book as Thank well. You Hopefully we'll much. have you come back and talk about this, this piece yes. uh, sometime yes. later on. Yes. All right, then. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Thank we you. We have quite a bit more still coming your way right here. <laughs>